Hi, this is Rick Eimer. I'm the sports editor at the Palo Alto Weekly, and we're here today with Mina Tomalu. She is our Athlete of the Week from Eastside College Prep. She is a senior here. She plays basketball. Had a terrific week. Uh, 35 points against Heritage, a really good team, six rebounds. Uh, had 19 points against Pinewood, which is a loss, but Pinewood is a great team after all. And then they kind of solidified second, or at least a position in the league, second or third, uh, with a good win over Priory. She had 25 points and eight rebounds. So uh, let's let's kind of start with the week. I mean, you, every every game is kind of an adventure, but uh, talk a bit, little bit about especially Priory. Um, Priory is always a good game. It's good competition every time. Um, I think we always know we need to bring energy knowing how the stakes are high against them. So, yeah. Yeah, and you realize that their coach, of course, is an East Side grad. Yeah. So it makes it a little little fun. Yeah, we know it's it's fun to compete against Buck because he knows he has that mindset that um, Coach D does, having been under him for a while. So it's always good competition. And then there's... Uh, you know, last year you had Kayla, and the only senior in the team forever, it seemed like. Uh, in, um, you don't have too many seniors, but now, of course, this year you have a ton of them. Um, you lose her, and, and you know that you your role is going to change. So, uh, like, what do you do to work on it, and, and uh, you know, how did you go about preparing for that? Um, towards the end of the season last year, I think it kind of all hit us that Kayla was going to be gone. So... Um, me and a couple of the other seniors, we really just worked over the summer to um, fill in her spot and just, we worked with Coach Donovan in the gym, um, working on our shot and our ball handling because we knew we had to step it up when she left. Right, and then I guess uh, you were talking earlier about some basketball camps. Did you go there with specifically with the idea to work on skills like that? Yeah, that and just to um, get the feel of a college I might want to go to. Oh, yeah, that's right. So we have all kinds of stuff going on. And now Eastside obviously has a great tradition. Uh, you come in this year, you're, I know you went to the NorCals. I, I think you went to the regional semifinals or something. Mm -hmm. But but every year it's it's like that's big expectation. So at the beginning of this year, do you guys sit down and say, hey, we've got to continue this? Or, I mean, what's what's kind of the plan for the season? Yeah, we, um, we're hoping to go back. And our stakes are just as high as any other year, so... Right, and you do have, like I say, you have some seniors, so of course uh, the leadership there is pretty good. Mm -hmm. now, now, you have to handle the ball a lot more. You have to drive to the basket and things. Uh, did it take any particular time to really do that, or, or do you feel comfortable right away doing that? No, I think I had to get used to it in the beginning of the season. It was kind of rough trying to get used to that, but I think we're starting to get the hang of it, and I'm definitely more comfortable with handling the ball. So, Great. And... Uh, you know, with the seniors, uh, Donovan always talked about somebody has to step up. Do you guys? Did you guys get together and say, "Hey, we got to. This is our team now." Yeah, we would. We had um, meetings, and we just kind of just sat down and really had to just make a conscious decision that we needed to step up and play how we know how to play with or without Kayla. So you've had a couple of pretty good games. Of course, Pinewood is always good, but you know, do you, when you go up against a team like Pinewood. I know that you, you probably play to win, obviously. But, I mean, what can you learn from a game like that? There's always a lot to learn when we play Pinewood. I think just their stamina and also, like, just how well they play with each other is definitely something to look at and learn from. Well, I mean, last year I remember Kayla had that, or, or everybody, of course, played so well together uh, for you guys. And, you know, I just realized that Kayla's kind of an assistant coach now, too. Is, yeah. she, is that, is that very, that's pretty helpful for you? Yeah, I think it, it's very helpful just to pick her brain about how she would lead the team and just how she went about things when she was captain. Yeah, now you've been playing with Dee Dee and, and Zion for a while now. Kind of talk about that relationship with the, between you three. We're very close um, on and off the court, but I think on the court we just have a good chemistry. We know what each other likes to do on the court, and we know each other's strengths and weaknesses, and I think that helps. Great. So we have been talking to Mina Tomalu. I had to remember that last name. And she's been our Athlete of the Week, and congratulations. Thank you. And if you want to find out about next week's Athlete of the Week, hit that subscribe button down below or visit us at pasportsonline.com.